Hey, I'm Scott. And I'm Sherry. And we are the, the coolest, coolest campers, campers ever. ever. So I'm hand holding this camera right now because we're going to take you inside our new gazebo. New because this is the first time literally that we've used it out camping. The other videos, we just set it up to do the videos, but it's been a long time coming to get to use this thing. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. Come on. Hi, come on in. Welcome to our gazebo. This is the first time we've actually gotten to use it out in the wild. And I have to say, I wasn't exactly sure what we would need or how we would use extra space. And I love this. It just kind of expands your footprint. It gives you a place to put a lot of your gear that isn't in your gazebo. So your gazebo can just be like your living space and sleeping space. It's a little more free of stacked boxes. Um, but as you can see, we've got some things set up in here. I'm sure we'll try different configurations, but for today, we've got our Dynamax set up on this wall. We've done a video on this before, but honestly, I would say, even though we've used this multiple times, this is the first time I feel like we've really made good use of it. Like it's really given us a home base for all of our stuff. Um, Scott set up this large water container here over the sink feature. And that has been so helpful just to kind of wash utensils, wash your hands. I think Scott even used it to brush his teeth. Um, but we've got this all set up and it really, I don't know, maybe they they knew this, but they, it really kind of fits the exact size of this wall of the gazebo. Trash is on the other side of it. We've got some of our boxes, our coolers set up, and then we've done a video about our Craftsman that kind of holds a lot of gear, but a lot of kitchen stuff too. So it just gives us one place to kind of house all of our things and just kind of an extra expanded footprint of your campsite. Um, it does come with an awning. We do not have that set up right now, um, but the connector feature between the Go and the gazebo is really nice. And we've kind of been using that as a little living room as well. So lots of great features. Oh, Scott's handing me this uh, light pole. I'll show you here. We did use these last night. We slid these in this little sleeve right here and had them on. And it just kind of kept this like low glow with inside the gazebo in the evening. We left the campsite for a little bit. Having these in place when we came back made it much easier to find uh, our campsite. You'll see this is a sleeve, right, that I put that down through there. And then it also has, this is an actual pocket. Um, don't have anything in there right now, but it's always great to have lots of storage and places to put all of your gear. We did put down a rug. Uh, there's also a tarp underneath the go so that um, to kind of get the dirt and all of those things. And then we put this rug in here just kind of for a little extra st stability, really, but kind of a nice design feature. I don't know. It makes it feel a little more like home. Uh, but I got to say, for me personally, I wasn't exactly sure how this gazebo was going to play out and how we would use it. 10 out of 10. I love having it on our campsite. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe. We appreciate you coming along on these journeys with us. And we'll see you next time. Let's go camping.